learning outcomes after studying this module you shall be able to know about the concept of road accident common reason ensuing traffic collision the mechanism of road accident introduction the word accident is derived from latin word accidere signifying occurrence happening falls upon or by chance a road accident may be defined as an event which happens suddenly without prior knowledge of the person while they walking or driving on the road vehicles or of different descriptions may be involved in road accident in india the problem has taken alarming proportions as the number of mechanized and non mechanized vehicles is increasing rapidly but the development of infrastructure is not enough to cope up with the situation accident is quite often used as a legal term it may be used generally in reference to the to various types of mishap but has a particular significance to insurance agencies to which it it means a sudden unintended and fortuitous external and visible event the term accident and occurrence are not very distinct from each other the occurrence is more comprehensive in terms of scope and purpose in comparison to accident which include injuries and damages caused by exposure to a set of conditions over the period of time and as well as act of intentional and conduct in india the road accident used to be sensational affair two or three decades ago whereas nowadays it has become something that occupies the headlines of our newspaper almost every day though additional traffic regulations such as speed limits and other restrictions have been imposed to reduce the number of accident yet the number is increasing many accident results in a vehicular damage or injuries to the occupant or even other innocent at times insurance claims related to which often has to be settled in the court the investigation is conducted by police to ascertain the cause of accident investigating officer should visit accident scene and examine the road environment and the vehicle as soon as possible either at the scene or in a garage and try to talk to the person involved and the witness if available now the cause of road accidents the road accidents always take place because of one or the other lapse these lapses or causes can be attributed to either individually or combination of the following causes related to the road conditions causes related to the drivers next you will see causes related to the vehicle in the next point you will see causes related to the traffic lights and signals and in the final point you will see causes related to the victim now we will study about the causes related to the road conditions the poor quality of roads and the conditions are responsible for many road accidents and some of them are discussed as follows the road may be bumpy or slippery and lack proper illumination next it can be quite often the road signs are either confusing or damaged or even missing next the fluorescent indicators or appreciate road markings are not visible particularly during nights in this lack of image signs on blind curves and poorly banked roads next point is lack of traffic signals or poorly placed signals next improperly 
graded curves and uneven shoulders. Next, vision obstructions may be because of poor landscaping of roadways and other factors. Next is excessively bright lights at crucial places. Next is an inappropriate road materials. Next, low and narrow bridges or incorrect overhead bridge markings. Next is the broken guardrails. Next point is areas where the roads having snow are not salted or plugged properly, particularly in the winter season. Now, the dividing lines may not be properly maintained. The dividing lines made up of chemicals, polymers can cause skidding of the vehicle, particularly in rainy days. Many openings for vehicles after short distances on national highways. Next is unauthorized improper and unmarked speed breakers on highways. Next, in foreign country, if your accident was due to either faulty roadway design or an defect in the road or maybe because of poor maintenance, mostly liabilities policies of insurance company cover property damage and injuries from accidents occurring on road and highways even when the accident involves only your car. Now the causes related to the driver. Everybody does more than one job at a time. So multitasking has become most common these days, which was never like this before. The relentless communication of emails, text messages, phone calls, status updating on social media, etc. has become a prime goal and people everywhere are rushing to get things done faster, easier and more effectively. But when it comes to driving, it never been more important to just slow down or stop. One's safety, one's life and the lives of others all depend on oneself to make the right choices behind the wheels. The reasons for this are drunken driving. The judgment of the driver may be impaired under the conditions or the influences of liquors, drugs or any other medicine. The particular driver may feel sleepy. He may be tired or feeling sleepy. He falls asleep for a moment and loses control over the vehicle. The next point is distracted driving. Distracted driving can be attributed to three main types of distractions. Visual distraction in this, the driver takes off his eyes of the road. Next is manual distraction. In this, the driver takes his hands off the wheel. And next point is cognitive distraction. In this, the driver takes off his mind of the driving. His attention gets diverted due to certain things or events on or around the road or maybe using mobile phones, texting or reading, eating, grooming or just talking while driving or using in-vehicle technologies such as navigation system can also be source of distraction. Texting while driving is especially dangerous because it combines all three types of distractions. Now the bad driving habits. Some of the drivers have bad delegating while poor lane discipline and not giving proper indicator are few other irritating habits beside from the inconvenience to other road users. This kind of inconsiderate driving is irritating and dangerous also. Now suffering from a disease. The driver may be suffering from some kind of illness and is unable to control the vehicle. Next is high speeding 
driving. The driver drives the vehicle at a high speed and some unexpected obstructions such as stone, animal, human, pit or any other vehicle suddenly comes in his way may cause an accident. Next point is the overconfidence. It is evident from the MUARC study that the most common subtypes of inattention are restricted attention, which primarily may be due to intoxication or and fatigue and diverted attention or distraction. Now the cause is related to the vehicle. In this, the first point is irregular services and inspection of different parts of the vehicle. Next point is the lack of safety equipment such as seat belts. Next is non-mechanized vehicles on roads. Next is air pressure in the tires may not be properly maintained. Next is the conditions of the tires and tubes may not be good. Next point is a tire may burst. Next failures of brakes. Next point is that the steering handle may not function properly. Next the head and rear lights of the vehicle may be faulty or not working. Next point is the indicators may not be working. Next point absence of fog lamps in foggy conditions. Next is the requirement to improve the design of the vehicle to provide easy of vision and control to the driver. Next point is the overloading of that particular vehicle. Next the other machinery of the vehicle fails. Now causes related to the traffic lights and signals. The primary functions of the traffic lights and signals is to assign a right way to various traffic movements at interactions and allow the pedestrians, bicyclists and cross street traffic to move properly and safely through the instructions and reduce certain type of accidents. The world's first gas lit traffic signals light which was manually operated installed in London in December 1868 exploded less than a month later killing its policeman operator. These were replaced by first safe electric automatic traffic lights in United States during late 1890s. But these can sometimes be the main cause of accidents if the traffic indicating signals or lights are not properly placed or misplaced or hit by a particular vehicle or the traffic indicating signals or lights are not properly visible from a particular distance. Next point is the traffic lights are not working properly either due to burned out lamps or due to power outrage. Next point is the duration of each traffic lights is not properly adjusted or non regularized red and green signals. Next is the disobedience of the traffic lights and signals. Now the causes related to the victim. When the victim is negligent and the drivers in a thoughtless or careless manner it becomes a cause of road accident. Other causes related to the victim are as follows. In this the victim may not have observed the traffic regulations. Next it may be over speeding. Next point is the illegal lane changing without proper signal or indicator. Next point is miscalculation of the time distance and the speed of the other vehicle while crossing the road or overtaking. Next point is the failure to yield the right way. Next is that the victim may be drunk and suddenly comes in front of a vehicle going at high speed. Next point is the victim may be 
maniacs or suffering from any other such disease and comes in the way of driving without knowing or caring for the consequences. Next point is some other vehicle might have hit the particular victim. Now the investigation of traffic collision. In this the finger and palm or other prints should be searched and developed. Next point is to prepare the cast of the marks whenever required. Next is to ascertain ownership of the particular vehicle. Next is to collect greases or any lubricants found at the scene of occurrence. If found absorbed by the surface material, then absorbed material should be cut in the form of a cone and a control sample of the material should also be collected from the nearest point separately. Now, the victim should be sent to the hospital for medical examination for any possible injuries, alcohol or narcotics in his body. The description of injuries or the postmortem reports as the case may be will help to decide whether injuries of the victim or damage to the vehicle are consistent with the version of the victim or of the culprit or the witness. Now the next point is get the blood of the culprit and the victim examined for alcohol and narcotics. Now the summary. The word accident is derived from the Latin verb accidere signifying occurrence, happening, falls upon or by chance. A road accident may be defined as an event which happens suddenly without prior knowledge of the person while walking or driving on the road. Now, many accidents result in vehicle damage or injuries to occupants or even other innocents at times. Insurance claims related to which often have to be settled in the court. The investigation is conducted by police forces. Now, some of the drivers have bad tailgating while poor lane discipline, not giving proper indicators are few other irritating habits. Now, the primary function of traffic lights and signals is to assign a right way to various traffic movements at instructions and allow the pedestrians, bicyclists and cross street traffic to move properly and safely through the instructions and reduce certain type of accidents. Thank you.